Niacinamide, otherwise known as vitamin B3, is a popular skincare ingredient choice among skincare enthusiasts because of its effectiveness in improving the overall health and appearance of the skin. But is niacinamide really worth all the hype? Let's look at the benefits of niacinamide, otherwise known as vitamin B3, and how it works on the skin. Niacinamide is a superhero ingredient that strengthens our acid mantle, the protective layer of the skin that is made up of a thin layer of water and oil and protects against harmful aggressors, dirt or pollution we come into contact with throughout the day. It helps in reducing inflammation from acne or sensitivity, regulating oil flow and the skin's pH level. Niacinamide is also known for its brightening benefits and that's because it is a tyrosinase inhibitor, ensuring each cell is not holding on to too much pigment and reduces the transfer of pigment from the melanocytes to the keratinocytes in the epidermis, the top layer of the skin. Finally, niacinamide also prevents transepidermal water loss and locks in the hydration within the skin preventing dehydration. When a skin is well hydrated, functioning correctly, this prevents premature aging in the skin and other skin conditions. Now, a concentration of 10% plus niacinamide is considered to be a potent and effective amount for addressing a range of skin concerns. We have used concentrations of 10%, 13%, and even the Paula's Choice Clinical 20% with no reactions at all. We found best results with the higher percentages, how However, every skin is different and we have been using skincare and cosmeceutical skincare for many years. How to use niacinamide in your skincare routine. The ingredient is safe for all skin types and can be used daily. It is a water-based serum, so it needs to be applied prior to oils and creams, but after cleansing and toning. It can be applied to damp or dry skin. Apply two drops into the palm of your hands and apply it to your skin. If you get a milky texture on your skin or it's causing pilling with your moisturizer, you have either applied too much or you haven't given your skin time to absorb the serum prior to moisturizing. What to avoid using with niacinamide? Now it will depend on the brand as each brand has different formulas. However, general rule for niacinamide should not be used with ascorbic acid and vitamin C derivatives and direct acids such as salicylic acid, lactic acid or glycolic acid. Now niacinamide works really well with vitamin A, retinol and this pair together could be used in the evening. Niacinamide is honestly one of our favorite ingredients. It is worth the hype. However, each brand has different formulations. So if you don't like one brand, try another because it's actually not the ingredient. It will be the brand's formulation. And like any active ingredient, consistency is key and you need to give your skin time to see results. If you want to learn more about skin ingredients and how they work within the skin, check out these videos here next.